few years and and um, the, the idea is always to to reach for higher quality and and to do so um, we adapt to the market and and we used to work with uh, with CPL cost per lead um, when it was when it was coming even to high qualified lead or, or, or sales ready lead uh, but but then we, we switch because the idea we've seen in the market and, and all our clients what they're looking for is the highest quality possible We've seen that marketing is really pushing more and more towards the end of the funnel and, and really trying to um, uh, generate high qualified lead for their sales team. So to do so, we've switched from the CPR model to a BDR model uh, with a business development representative where we really have inside sales uh, that have an IT background that are able to have a better understanding, um, that are able to have more meaningful conversation with the prospect uh, to be able to deliver that, that type of lead. So, so not only we, have, we are interacting once with the company, um, with a prospect, pitching the solution, but we really have a nurturing approach where we're going to have a first, um, a, a first point of contact, either on sales navigator, either uh, over the phone, and then we're going to nurture this contact, either by uh, sending some content, trying to doing some presentation, um, um, uh, conference over, over Zoom or, or, or video call. And, and then once again, trying to qualify the prospect until he's ready to be put in contact with, uh, with, the, with the company we're working for. Uh, and and we going towards that high quality, we even created what we call the warm end over, uh, which is basically uh, once we identify the, the opportunity and it's uh, qualified enough to be end over to the sales team, uh, what our BDR team, what, what our agents do, is that they, they organize a joint call um, between uh, the, the prospect, uh, the, the, the sales expert from our client, and themselves, uh, so that they can do the introduction, uh, put all the call in context, what have been said in the past, so that they can create the bridge for the, for the sales to, to, to do then the, the, the follow-up. And we've seen that by doing this, uh, we've been um, solving various problems, one of them being the contactability of those leads. We, we know that this is one of the things salespeople are complaining about, the fact that they're doing some follow-up, they're coming back, and then they, they don't manage uh, to, to actually talk to the prospect. So by doing this and by organizing those warm and over, uh, the, the sales just have to sit back, relax, and just click on the button to join the call, getting the introduction, and then being able to do the follow-up. And then the second thing is the fact that um, we, we have, we, we've seen that there is a higher conversion because uh, the sales is, is put in context. Uh, he knows what has been said in the past and not only by maybe a comment on an Excel file or a comment on, on, his, on his CRM, he really has an introduction, a proper introduction done by the, the BDR that has, that, have been, uh, that has been having conversation with the prospect before. So, so all those type of things is, is what, we're, what we're putting in place. And that makes that we have a, a high retention uh, from our, our client, just for the simple fact that we, we are trying to, to, to adapt to the market. The, our clients are looking for higher, higher, higher qualified leads. So, so we are trying to put some, some new things in place, new processes in place, so that we can, we can deliver this and, and not only satisfy the marketing team, but the sales teams as well. You need to understand that we have uh, close to 150 people uh, on the phone on a daily basis, uh, doing close to 100, 110 phone calls per day. Uh, so it means that this database is, is um, updated on a constant basis. Uh, so th this is, of course, the, one of the advantages of working with a, with a company of our, of our size, uh, because we have a large coverage of the market. Um, I, we, I mentioned the fact that we have 16 different teams. Uh, we are, we are um, uh, not to underestimate those, those countries. We are working countries like Poland uh, in native language. We are working uh, uh, countries like Turkey. But it's true that those are not usually not the main priority from, from global companies. And there is some, our bigger team are in the UK, uh, in the dark region, in France, uh, in Spain, in Italy. So, so we have a large team in those countries. Uh, which enable us to really have a, a large coverage of the market and to, to update this data on a constant basis.